Okay, hey guys, this is Vincent. I am going to give a tutorial on how I was able to get Carn Evil to work. Carn Evil was an early light gun game. It was released on October 31st, 1998. And uh, I like this game and couldn't get it to work with MAME to save my life. Uh, I tried all kinds of different uh, zip files and CHDs and uh, I ask a few YouTubers on their channels but never really could get any one of them to respond so through a lot of research and trial and error I'm going to show you how I was able to get the uh, carnival to work for me okay so first off we'll get rid of this picture and we're gonna go to my files here so uh, there's three main parts to the puzzle and uh, the first one is starting with downloading uh, a version of MAME. It's MAME 0179B 64 bit. Um, this is the only version of MAME I was able to get uh, Carnival to work with the zip files and the CHDs that I had. So you need to get onto the internet, and it's fairly easy to find. If you just put this in, it usually comes right up with a bunch of different. Uh, websites that you can download it from. So download it and put it in a folder uh, or if you are new and you want to just use that as your uh, MAME you can use it for other games too. I use it as a standalone uh, because I have other things working so that's the first part of what you want to do is find this MAME version and download it. Okay so once you have that the second one is going to be your ROM. So we're going to go here where I have my ROM and you just find, I'm sure if you've been trying to get this game, you've probably downloaded all kinds of Carnival uh, ROM zips. So the important thing you need to do is find this one here, Carnival.zip, which is pretty much every time you're going to find a ROM, that's what it will be. But the important thing is, is to make sure that this zip file has these two files inside of it. It is a boot.u32 and sound102.u95. Those are the only two files that I needed for this to work inside the zip. I had other zip files that had other things inside of them. Um, didn't need them. I ended up using just this and it worked fine. So get those, make, get a zip uh, ROM and make sure those two files are inside. All right. And the third thing you're going to need is to download the CHD, which stands for Compressed Hard Drive File, for Carnival. Uh, it is a rather large file, and I have it in here. Hold on a second. There we go. Carnival CHD. It is large. It is like 1.36 gigabytes. It might take a while for you to download it, depending on your uh, download speed. Okay, but you do need this in order for this uh, game to work. Um, as a note, just for anybody out there that finds it, there is an early version of this CHD file. Uh, the likelihood of you running across it and downloading it on accident is pretty rare because usually if you go and you put in CHD for Carnival, you're going to get the right version. But there, just to put it in your mind, there is a earlier version. That version uh, will not work with way, but we're going to do this. So just to let you know that, I doubt you're going to find it. So, okay, once you have that, then uh, let's put this puzzle together and, and you guys could start playing this game. So, first thing you're going to want to do is do what I've done here, is create a folder called Carnival. And it needs to match your zip file. So if your zip file is all in lowercase and it's carnival.zip, then the folder that you're going to create is going to be called carnival. It doesn't have to say zip, just carnival by itself. The name of the folder has to match the name of the file. And uh, MAME does not like uppercase letters. So if you have the chance, make sure that all these are going to be in lowercase, including the extensions. Okay. So once you have that created, you're going to do what I've done here, which is very simply take your Carnival CHD file, which also has the same 
lowercase name and needs to match the other ROM as well as the folder and the CHD goes inside the folder you created. Okay. So you have your Carnival folder which has your CHD in it and then you have your zip file. Okay. So after that all you have to do is take your two pieces of this puzzle and I'm going to reduce this so you can get over here and you are going to open up your MAME 0179B that you put in a folder or if you installed it directly into your computer either way you have to find your uh, file tree which I have opened up on this window here which is basically just if I were to open this up it's the same thing so once you find this file tree you go down to your ROMs this works like any other MAME you have to put ROMs in a folder. The only difference here is is that you're going to take your ROMs folder here, open it up. You're going to take this folder that we created that says Carnival with your CHD file in it and you're going to place it inside this ROMs folder. Then you're going to take your zip file which is your ROM itself and put it in the same folder. Now I've already done this and it's already in there, but normally you would have it here and just transfer it over to your ROMs folder. This directory text, don't worry about that if there happens to be one in there that has nothing to do with making the game work. Alright, so those two pieces of the puzzle are into the ROMs folder, which is basically the third piece of the puzzle, which keeps this, um, I should say, makes this work. Alright, so now that we've done that, we are going to go down here in your MAME folder and you're gonna start it up. It takes a second depending on your you know speed of your machine and everything like that. My computer is about a little outdated so it takes a minute for this to load up so bear with me here. Plus I have a bunch of stuff open and recording at the same time here. Alright, I'm not sure why this is not opening up. Let's try this. Get rid of that. That. Alright, well, I apologize for the delay. I'm not sure what's going on here with it. Let's try this again. There we go. Now it's opening up. All right. So once this opens up, you can see the wheel of death going there. Initializing, like MAME usually does. Okay. So you have your main MAME folder here, and I only have the one ROM in here. Uh, I only use it. I only use this version of MAME for this because uh, it's the only thing I need it for. So basically, you just do anything else like you normally do is click on Carnival. It'll take a second to adjust your screen. Initializing, it gives you this little thing. Then you can use your mouse and go to the center here and click your crosshairs, your reticle. And in a second, you will see the normal screen that comes up for Carnival. Increase my sound a little bit. And in a moment, here we go. When the moon is full and trees are bare, walk through the cemetery if you there dare. You and it should start up for you. Rot and if you have a faster fester, computer, it'll locate the tomb with the skull of your, Jester, uh, feed him the token all shiny but and new. This will go through then the whole uh, Carnival will return for you. The whole intro, but for the sake of argument, I think we're gonna go ahead and five. And one will start you up. You can use your mouse with your reticle here, and the left button is your fire. And to reload, you have to hit Alt. So let's go ahead and do Rickety Town. 
what goes up must come down. Now you're headed for Rickety Town. Ride all the rides, have some fun, then eat your heart out on a sesame seed bun. <laughs> back here so that's how I got it to work if you guys have any questions or anything like that you can uh, send me a quick comment or something like that but I wanted to uh, at least show you guys how I got this to work because I know there's a lot of people out there who can't get this game to work um, I was one of them included it took forever to figure it out but uh, I figured uh, I had a couple other people ask me how it worked and instead of trying to send everybody these instructions individually I figured I'd just go ahead and uh, put this video together. So hope this helped you guys out and uh, happy hunting.